Hi guys, my name is uh, Michael Whitford and I'm running a mini course on using Smart Notebook 11. I wanted to shoot my uh, introduction video like this because this is how all the videos that will be in each section or each lesson are going to be shot. I'm going to be recording the screen and have a little section over in the corner of me talking. Um, this way you guys can see what I'm doing and then I feel like I'm actually talking to you. You know, the picture of myself there. <laughs> so I want to start today just by showing you my home screen because um, this is where everything's going to happen. So Smart Notebook 11 is right up here where my, mar where, where my mouse is. Uh, disregard everything over here. I like to play video games when I have some free time, so they're uh, they're all over there. Now, Smart Notebook 11, what you need to know. It's a program designed by Smart Technologies. Uh, it's used usually in conjunction with SmartBoard. Actually, that's the best way to use it. Uh, I mean, I use Smart Notebook 11 for a lot of different things, um, but you need a SmartBoard in order to like use a lot of the features on it. So you can create lessons with it, you can use it as a document viewer and all this other fun stuff. And then you have your smart board there and you these lessons work really well with it. And you can have students come up and manipulate up like images, objects on the screen and write and oh, it's so it's such a great program and it's such a great tool. I know some people have Promethean boards. I'm pretty sure this cannot be used with that. I'm yeah, I'm like 99% sure that Promethean boards have their own program, and I've never used it, so I have no idea. But I am very well versed in Smart Notebook, so that's why I said make a mini course on it. Now, um, at the bottom of the page, I've provided links to download Smart Notebook 11 for Windows and Mac, and the user guides for Windows and Mac. You may want to look at those just to get you know an overview of it. In order to download Smart Notebook 11, you'll have to have an access key. Usually this is provided by, uh, well, actually, it almost has to be provided by your like the school you're working for in the school district. So this is a very individualized mini course, but I'm really hoping to help everyone out. I'd like you to leave any questions you have um, in the conclusion section. I've also included a little bit more information on Smart Notebook below this video link um, on the course page. So I look forward to taking this journey with you. Bon voyage.